Okay, so what we have here, um, we have the judgment. Um, so this is really, really taking a clear assessment um, to what's going on in your life right now that is connected to the past, okay? Um, the judgment looks at how things are happening now that are connected with the past and reassess each situation and is prompted to let go of certain parts of the past that no longer serve you. Um, so this could be pertaining to particular situations or people, but it's judgment time, Libra, okay? Um, and you guys are the ones um, that bring things in order. You guys are justice. You guys are balance, okay? You guys are going to be the ones to, to bring things into order, into balance. So I do see that this is what's going on here. Um, Nine of Wands, all right? So there is a very strong drive to get things into place and to let certain things go here now i'm also seeing um the king of coins here all right so some of you might be if this hasn't happened already um will be getting in the position of um being very generous or um someone is being generous to you during this time um, I feel like some of you are really bossing up here. Um, we did see a transition for you guys here in the last several months. Um, a lot of you have been, you know, feeling very down, very depleted, feeling um, financially stressed. So for some of you, there is going to be someone here um, that comes in to be generous or provide you with a generous offer. Um, but for some of you, um, you are bossing up here with the king of coins and you are able to to give back in some type of way here um, I feel like this is Monetarily, um, but this could definitely symbolize other areas of um, Generosity, so I do see that um, ace of coins while wow, right next to the king of coins. This is a new beginning um, I feel like this also does signify a new financial beginning here um, I think that there are some things um, from the past that you did realize that needed to to be let go of sometimes we don't acknowledge that certain things can hinder us from other parts of our lives um, to prosper you know um, if we're finding ourselves being in a, a financial struggle time after time year after year it could be because we have toxic energy around us and we're not able to vibrate on a very abundant level to allow rewards and blessings and positive things to come in. So this is what I'm seeing. This is the type of vibe that I'm getting from you, Libra. It's like you are really, really ambitious um, to see what is going on here. It's like you guys are getting to the root um, and, and really fighting for your prosperity here uh, let's go ahead and look a little deeper yeah you guys are very very motivated to see what is the issue what is really going on okay yeah so the foundation we already knew this we've talked about this um, there's a lot of burden here all right I'm hearing the first thing I'm hearing is a lot of financial burden um, and we have seen that time after time here in the last couple of months. Um, some of you, this is emotional burden, okay? This is attached to your own feelings about yourself. And then there's relationships pertaining to um, romance or lack thereof, family and friends. Um, I'm hearing supervisors, um, you know, job responsibilities, not being able to find the right job, not being able to find a job. There's been a lot of anxiety here. And again, with this card, this also signals that it's time to let go of the past. Um, right next to it, wow, six of cups. So this is um, reminiscing, okay? Um, for some of you, um, you may have some people around you or a particular person around you that you look at favorably okay so this could be um 
you know, a family friend, um, a, a friend of yours in particular that you've grown up with. Um, this could be a, a love that has been progressing and you've been holding on to for a long period of time that has um, contributed to some of this burden here. For some of you, um, I'm hearing that you are unable to give to this person the way that you would want to because e of emotional and financial burdens that you have. And then that adds the burden because you now feel guilt because you can't give in those ways, okay? Um, so I don't know who this is for. Again, pick up what I'm putting down um, that does resonate and simply leave the rest. Um, but I do see here that for some of you, um, some of you just want to go back to that good feeling of how you felt when you were a child or that childlike freedom. So I'm also getting that vibe too, um, wanting to feel good again, you know, um, and not feeling so bogged down. So um, there's a lot of different things that I'm connecting with here. Now, there is um, a group of you that are looking to reconnect with someone because the six of cups also talks about reconciliation and so for some of you either you've reconnected with someone and it's causing some burden and now you're trying to reassess should you do that or not um some of you are looking to um reunite with someone here okay and because there is this separation um, you know, you, there it, it's bogging you down emotionally. Okay, wow. So out comes the star. Um, this is um, Aquarius. Um, the star talks about something being destined. So um, this to me, um, and we're talking about now in the position of what needs to happen. Um, you need to walk into your destiny, walk towards your destiny. Um, there is a path that is destined for you, Libra. It's very hard for you to see at this point in time. Um, the star card also talks about having hope. I feel like a lot of you have lost hope in, in the past because it's like this reoccurring cycle of disappointment, of things not working in so many areas of your life. And so, um, you know, you're prompted to really really keep the faith because there is something that's destined here for you okay this could be a relationship this could be financial this could just be a life path this could just be talking about you know the turn of events everything that has happened as of you know the past up into um you're you're watching this today if you're going through some struggles it all doesn't make sense to you it's not supposed to but it it will and it, it it was divine set up it's it's nothing that um was all in vain there was purpose for this okay libra so just hang in there now the two of wands um uh, is really you know needing to make a decision to get some things in action um and so i'm seeing that wow the two of cups okay so here is the message all right um for a lot of you, okay, we're talking about the Two of Cups again, um, this relationship, this person, for those of you that are reminiscing about someone um, that you're no longer connected to and you're looking to reconnect with them or you are dealing with someone but you haven't emotionally connected to them for whatever reason, for emotional and financial reasons, um, there is a true connection here with the two of cups here and the star card. This is a destined situation, a destined relationship. Okay. So this could be twin flame, soulmate. Um, and there, there needs to be a decision of action. What are you going to do about this connection here? Now, um, typically the, the six of swords. Okay. Um, the six of swords talks about, um, you know, going into calmer water. It's, it's leaving one area and going to the next. Now, what I am feeling here is um, I'm hearing that you need to leave 
the old ways, the old mindset, the old burdens in the past, okay? Um, for some of you, um, and again, however this resonates, for some of you, there is someone from afar, okay, that you are really, really connected with emotionally, spiritually, on so many levels, and um, you're really looking to reconnect with this person and you have to make a decision, am I going to reach out to them? This person isn't in your area. This person could be in another city, another state, another country, um, but there needs to be a decision to be made. Are you going to you know, visit this person and let this person know how you feel? Are you going to move in with this person? Are you going to visit this person? There's something about going towards this person. I know that this is like going away, but I feel like this is going away from your fears and going towards this person, okay? Going towards calmer water. Now, the Ace of Cups backs this up, all right? There is an offer that you either need to make or there is an offer that will come to you once you make this decision in action and once you walk away from this burden okay i'm also seeing and i'm going to go back to it this judgment call right um you know you are you're prompted to really really take a clear look at your past libra and the good things take with you and and the things that no longer serve you 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 need to let go of them okay um, there needs to be a release and this that's the exact word that I'm hearing spirit say there needs to be a release an emotional uh, release it's almost like because of the disappointment and all of the letdowns and all the things that have happened it's almost like you have programmed your thought to be on guard for the next shoe to drop and that is actually attracting certain situations to happen in the negative okay um so this is like rewiring the brain 101 okay which is very hard because there has been a lot that has gone on towards you um against you you know involving you so i get it um let's look at your outside influence here outside influence What is the outside influence for Libra? Okay, outside influence. Yeah, we have the Seven of Swords. So, this outside influence, I feel like, is someone that, for some of you, you feel like you can't trust, okay? Um, this could have been someone that has possibly hurt you in the past, um, or this could be a situation where um, you feel like it's kind of risky. It's like you want to go towards this person, but it's like, you know, this is a, a risk that you're not sure you're willing to take because your heart um, and your emotions really don't know if they can open up or even take much more so let's see here why is the seven of swords here please please clarify the seven of swords seven of swords all right yes see what i'm saying so this is the knight of cups okay so this is you know an offer a proposal and taking a risk towards making this offer and then we have the two of coins um juggling trying to juggle the decision you know should i make this um risk this person and i also get the vibe that like this person um this person either offered something to you for some of you there was an offer and you're not sure if this person is really just serious about you you don't know if they're just juggling you with other people okay um, I also get the idea here too, is that you might feel like this person is one minute they're hot, one minute they're cold. So um, I see that, but I also feel like too, Libra, that um, 
you know, you either want to make an offer or an, or accept an offer, um, but you just don't feel stable. Like something about it doesn't seem stable, either emotionally, financially. That has been, those have been the two things for you, emotionally and financially. And it's just like, am I ready for this? Can I do this? Can I believe this? Can I trust this? Um, so this is what I'm seeing. I, I'm getting a lot of different messages here. All right, let's look at the outcome. The outcome, please, for Libra. Outcome for Libra. Let's see here. All right, we're going to take them all here. They all came out here. All right, so the Ten of Coins, which is beautiful because this is prosperity. You know, we're all looking to get to the Ten. So in the outcome, I feel like there is going to be a major change, a major shift that, you know, again, you've been wanting to do here um, and to obtain financially. It's definitely coming here for you. Um, the Eight of Cups. Yes, I see you walking away from certain things that may have hindered you from being able to obtain the Ten of um, the Ten of Coins here. OK, um, the King of Cups. All right. Um, this, this is like, um, very, very compassionate, um, loving energy here. Um, and it's, it's very stable. It's very solid. So I feel like, you know, things are starting to get very stable here in the near future. Yes. With the magician. All right. It's like you've manifested, um, exactly what you are are looking to, to desire now i see here as we're saying with the judgment looking within letting go of, of certain things from the past certain behaviors thoughts ideas people um you do that here with the eight of cups all right you're being very ambitious trying to um build something being very motivated um you know defending the right to be able to do it just like really going in and putting in the work here and, you know, wanting to, to boss up in this King of Coins, okay? And I see that. And in this, you transition to the King of Cups. Very compassionate, loving. Because I feel like for you, Libra, it was like love was something that just did not equate to you at this point in time. Because either you were going through something emotional or financial or your partner was going through something emotional um, or financial and it was like the two of you had so many different things going on and it always seemed to come down to it just simply not working you know and so I think that the love category kind of faded out in the background for you guys because it was like look I either have to emotionally get myself together here um, I got to get my coins up. I got to figure out what I'm doing in life. I got to figure me out. It just didn't really hit home when it came to love, right? It just kept being a hit and miss. And it always seemed like it came down to, you know, money or really getting other areas of your life together. But I do see here that you do manifest this King of Cups um, mentality. It's like the coinage and really being able to have a moment to look down into um, the depth of, of, you know, love in a compassionate way. Um, now, the page of coins, absolutely. So I always tell everyone, for me, the page of coins is like that, that young person that is just ready to explore the world. They don't care about getting their hands dirty. They're enthusiastic about it. Again, this is what I see here, you know, with the nine of, of wands, really like defending the right and being motivated and inspired to work on something. And, you know, the page of coins is like really, really ambitious energy. It's like, um, you know, either when someone gets out of high school and they want to go right into college and they're just like, you know, I just want to do it. Or right when someone gets out of college and they're just really ready to get into the adulthood, it's like traveling the unknown territory but being happy about it it's like you know not having that fear of what's going to happen just knowing that this is new this is fresh this is exciting um and this is what i'm seeing for you guys and then we have the seven of coins all right 
this is like the big payoff this is like working really really hard on something um now with the seven of coins here okay um i am i am seeing that you guys will take a look here you go from the page of coins to the seven of coins um we have the ten of coins up here so what i do want to say to you guys is um you know there will be moments in the near future when it this does progress and in the seven of coins you know you are working and and you're you know you're collecting all of your knowledge and all of your coinage and you know you are taking this progressive step forward to me you're excited about it okay you're looking at the progress if this was a loan the seven of coins sometimes can look down at the harvest and say you know what i should be a lot farther along i should have a better crop here you know um but this time you guys are manifesting something um much different here it's a mindset okay i see it here with your mindset your mindset is definitely changing libra and this is what is going to make the difference very very good here okay so let's do this let's get some angel advice here because this is going to manifest um very beautifully for you um you're going to have to defend the right to cut people off and to move forward um it's not going to be easy um some people you're going to some people in situations and things you are going to keep and some people might question why why you're doing this um so i do see that this is going to be quite the experience here but you guys are more focused now you guys are really 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 placing this judgment wow not only in front of you um but all around you you know whatever decisions you are now making it's like does this serve me does this even coincide to where i'm going and what i want to do 